tell us. We just heard from the police chief of DeKalb County, Georgia, and it gives us some incredible details here. It was a single gunman described as 19 years old, and the way this happened, he gained entry to, through the locked doors of the school by following someone else in. He immediately went to the school office carrying an AK-47, and some other weapons were told, but definitely an AK-47. From that position, and as authorities arrived after some initial calls, he exchanged gunfire about a half to, he fired about a half dozen shots at authorities outside the school and then authorities then returned fire after that he gave up without incident but it was a terribly scary time there at the school many of the kids were taken outside uh, some were sheltering in place in their rooms uh, they are now being released back to their parents that was a long process in itself and what we're looking at right now as a lot of anxious parents very relieved but also very upset to find out how close this came to being a very deadly situation no motive here possibly uh, that the, the chief is willing to talk about but he did tell us that police dogs were able to get a scent of some kind of explosive on the suspect's car out in front of the school and so that was a very dangerous situation, they believed, and they reacted to it. Uh, they are checking out the car right now. They haven't found explosives yet, but they had to assume there was. So they had to escort these kids off property by leading out the back of the school. They cut a hole in one of the fences, led them through the property behind a house to an adjoining street where they could get on the buses. So that in itself was a very tense uh, proposition to get all of these kids moved. There's several hundred kids at this school ranging from pre-K to grade five. And talking to some of those kids with their parents as they were getting off the buses and getting reunited, some of the kids were saying that uh, they were, there were some kids who were very afraid, some teachers were afraid, but by and large, the kids stayed calm. A lot of them just thought it was a fire drill. We also have some sound now here from the DeKalb County Police Chief. Let's hear what he has to say. Received a call and we engaged. He started to fire from inside of the school at our officers. Uh, what we know right away is that he had one or two of the staff members inside the main office. Uh, he was holding them captive. Uh, units continued to respond. He would continue to fire upon officers. Officers were able to return fire when they saw him in uh, 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 alone by himself. Subsequent to all that, no one was injured. He uh, surrendered. And that was the incredible aspect of all this. No one injured in this incident. That gunman with an AK-47, we're told, uh, inside that school, exchanging gunfire with officers. And again, no one was hurt. But this investigation continues.